Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the structure and function of the insect antennae. Antennae are paired sensory structures located on the head of insects. They generally consist of three parts. The first part is the scape. The scape is located at the base of the antenna and attaches to the head of the insect. The scape sits in an antennal socket on the head of the insect which is closed off by a membrane. The socket is made up of the antennal sclerite and separated from the sclerites of the head by the antennal suture. The socket also has a pivot-like process called the antennifer. The antennifer supports the scape and allows for the movement of the antenna. The second part of the antenna is the pedicel. The pedicel is a short segment that joins the scape to the flagellum part of the antenna. It usually contains a specialized sensory organ called the Johnston's organ. This organ functions in detecting movement in the flagellum portion of the antenna. The third and final part of an antenna is the flagellum. The flagellum itself is segmented, often with many segments called flagellomeres. Sometimes the flagellum is reduced to just a single segment. The flagellum region of the antennae is often modified and highly variable. The main function of the antennae in insects is as a sensory structure. They are primarily able to detect two senses, tactile and chemical. Mechanoreceptors found on the antennae allow the insect to get information on the physical characteristics of the world around them. Chemoreceptors also found on the antennae allow the insect to detect chemical signals from the environment around them. There is a lot of diversity in the structure of antennae but are all based on this three-part structure. Filiform antenna are slender and the flagellum segments keep a uniform width along the length of the antenna. In cetaceous antenna, the antenna as a whole is bristle-like and tapers from the base as you go along the length of the antenna. In moniliform antenna, the segments of the flagellum are rounded and appear like a string of beads. In serrate antennae, the segments of the flagellum are angled on one of the sides, which gives it a saw-like appearance. In pectinate antennae, the segments are elongated on one of the sides and appear comb-like. In clavate antennae, the segments get larger as you move towards the tip of the antenna, forming a gradual club. Capitate antennae, on the other hand, end in an abrupt club, as the last few segments are enlarged. In lamellate antennae, the end segments are flattened and elongated into plates giving a folded fan-like appearance. In flabellate antennae, all the flagella segments are extended with long lobes giving a fan-like appearance. Geniculate antennae are elbowed as there is a bend partway along the antennae. Plumose antennae have fine thread-like branches called setae coming off each of the segments giving a feather-like appearance. Aristate antenna consists of a single and large segment of the flagellum that bears a bristle called the arista. In stylate antenna, the last segment of the flagella is called a style, as it is elongated and thin. And that concludes this video on insect antennae. Thank you for watching. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe and check out more of my videos.